signs and symptoms you're not drinking enough water. Are you dehydrated? Today, we're diving into these vital questions. Number one, what are the signs and symptoms of mild dehydration? Number two, what are the signs and symptoms of severe dehydration? Number three, who is at risk of dehydration? Number four, when to go to the emergency room if you think you are dehydrated? And number five, how to check your hydration level in five seconds? Dehydration is a common problem affecting millions of people. And despite being easy to prevent, many of us don't realize how dangerous it can be and how to recognize the warning signs. Watch this video till the end to discover how to check your level of dehydration in five seconds. Wondering how to test if you are dehydrated? Just listen to your body. Number one, signs of mild to mild dehydration. Dehydration happens when your body loses more water than it takes in. And here are the symptoms. Number one, you're gonna feel thirsty. You're gonna have dry skin, dry mouth, dry lips, dry tongue. You're gonna start feeling tired and fatigued. You're gonna feel dizzy. You're gonna have headaches. You could have reduced sweating. You're gonna start making less urine. Uh, you're going to have a darker yellow urine and you start having muscle cramps. Initially, your brain will signal you to drink more water. But if you don't, things can get worse and you'll uh, sweat less and your kidneys will produce less urine. If uh, and treated, uh, water will start moving from inside the cells, the so-called intracellular compartment, to your bloodstream to maintain your blood volume and blood pressure. Here are the symptoms of severe dehydration. You're going to have excessive thirst initially, uh, followed by a reduced thirst uh, sensation later. You're going to have extreme dry skin. Uh, you have no sweating even in hot environments. Your body is trying to save as much water as possible. You're going to have a very dark urine. You're going to start having a fast heart beats, faster breathing you're going to start having neurological symptoms, headaches, confusion, delirium. You may feel lightheaded. You may feel fainting. And eventually, you're going to have a low blood pressure called hypotension. And if the situation is not corrected, you may get into a situation called a shock or hypovolemic shock with damage to internal organs like your liver, your kidneys, and your brain. In your children, they show different symptoms. Here are the signs and symptoms in children. Uh, they're going to have dry skin, dry lips, dry tongue, dry mouth, no tears when they cry. They're going to have sunken eyes, sunken cheeks, sunken abdomen, and infants will have a sunken spot on the infant's head. And no wet diapers. They will start feeling irritable and they're going to start having faster breathing and eventually showing signs of lethargy, a very serious sign that requires immediate attention. Number three, who is at risk of dehydration? Although anyone can get dehydrated if they don't drink enough water, who is really at risk? Infants, children, and the elderly adults are at a higher risk. They may not be able to express uh, their thirst or drink water due to sickness. The older adults may not feel uh, thirsty as promptly as younger people. And in addition, older uh, people have less water in their bodies. As we age, the uh, percentage of water in your body goes down. And they might have restricted mobility due to a stroke or dementia or other impairments. And I remember vividly a patient in New York City who came in extremely dehydrated. He was elderly, he lived alone, he was brought in eventually by a family member, and this sodium uh, on the blood it was extremely high. It was called hypernatremia. Obviously, we had to give him lots of IV fluids to reverse the situation. And to learn more about how to avoid dehydration, watch this video, how to hydrate for optimal health. I'll put the link above on the description below. Number four, when to go to the emergency room. At first, when you are dehydrated, your brain will tell you to drink more water. But if you don't, things can get worse. And here are the signs 
and symptoms, they want to be uh, very careful because it would require going to emergency care. High fevers, 103 per night or 39.4 uh, Celsius for our European friends. Lack of sweating, uh, you're going to have red, hot, dry skin, you're going to have fast heartbeats, you're going to have fast breathing, and you're going to start having neurological uh, symptoms, headaches, confusion, uh, hallucinations, you start feeling fainting, and you stop making urine, you eventually have a low blood pressure called hypotension, and any time you cannot hold fluids in your stomach due to severe vomit or diarrhea, you need to go to the emergency room, you're not going to be able to fix this situation at home. And number five, here's the bonus. Do you want to check your hydration level right now? Here's a quick test. Pinch this, pinch the skin on the back of your hand. And if the fold of your skin swings back immediately, you are well hydrated. But if the skin stays in a position, even for a few moments, you might be dehydrated. Go have a glass of water right now. And people have used this test to look at your biological age. And here is the number. If the skin stays up for one or two seconds, you are uh, under 30. If it's three to four seconds, you're between 30 and 44. Uh, if you five, between five and nine seconds, you are 45 uh, higher. And 10 to 15 seconds, you, got, you are 50 to 60. And for more than 56 or, uh, seconds or more, you're be, going to be over 70. Uh, this is fun, but it's really not accurate, but uh, you certainly can try. Even at rest, we lose water daily uh, through your breathing, through your skin, through your urine, through your stools. Dehydration is a serious condition and leads to thousands of deaths in the U.S. and uh, millions worldwide, affecting not only the elderly, but mainly children and uh, the age of five. And to learn more, watch this video, How to Avoid Dehydration This Summer, put a link above and in the description below. Your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.